All right, so the today's lead coding question is uh, mean stack. We need to design a data structure, which is a stack that supports push pop top, the regular operations, as well as a new one, retrieving the minimum element in constant time. So uh, if we just grab the stack from your programming language, we get this first three for free in constant time. And uh, if we just scan through the stack to implement this minimum, I get minimum, uh, it's a linear time operation. Uh, and uh, without any uh, space, any, anything else. So we want to reduce that uh, from linear to constant. Uh, the trade-off we can do is to use some extra space. So instead of uh, just using one stack to keep track of the elements, we also use something to keep track of the minimum at uh, any given time. So we have to somehow align the uh, stack that's keeping track of the elements and the data structure we use to keep, to keep track of the minimum. Mm -hmm. Uh, the most straightforward way of doing that is to have another stack that's the same lens as this uh, element stack that just uh, when we retrieve the uh, top element uh, for that uh, minimum stack it's uh, it's always going to be the uh, minimum number for the element for the stack we uh, keep track of the elements uh, yeah so in short we're going to have two stacks they're going to be in sync uh, so they're going to be maintained, updated uh, uh, in the si simultaneously in the push and pop. So one stack for the elements, one stack for the minimum element. And uh, we'll do some optimization after the uh, implementation. Uh, so yeah, uh, I'm, I, I, it's pretty simple. So I'm not going to talk while I code this thing up. Yeah, so for the top, we just return the stack that we keep track of the values. For the get min, we just uh, uh, return the top element of the stack we keep track of the minimums. Uh, they are uh, maintained simultaneously. When we do a pop, we pop the two things, uh, pop the top from both. When we push, uh, we push the x onto the regular stack, uh, value stack. But for the min stack, we push the uh, potentially the new minimum. So that's uh, the uh, the smaller one between this input x and the current minimum. And, uh, but but when when we just are starting out, uh, the when the stack is empty, uh, we should uh, we don't do the comparison. We just directly uh, we always push the x onto the minimum when we are empty. So. Uh, this is the code that's uh, the most straightforward implementation for the two stack method. Uh, just think about uh, is there anything that uh, we can do better? Um, yeah, the, the, the thing, the duplication redundancy with this uh, implementation is that uh, when we have a new element that being pushed onto the main stack here, if, that's, uh, if this x is larger than the get main, uh, we basically just replicate uh, the minimum uh, and uh, uh, duplicate that onto the min stack. And uh, when we pop, uh, we always do this pop because we have that duplication. Um, but think about the stack, right? You push onto the tail and uh, then you pop. When you pop, you always pop the uh, what's entered, uh, the most recent entered one. So. When you push an element that's larger than the minimum and you pop, um, the minimum is not going to change. So, so, so we can just make modify this uh, push and pop to try to reduce that get minimum. So the way we do that is, uh, whenever the element is larger than the current minimum, we don't push anything to this min stack. And when we do the pop, we try to see whether this element is actually. Uh, the, the element we pop out from vowels is actually uh, you know, the current minimum. If it's uh, the current minimum, we actually do the pop. 
on the main stock. Otherwise, uh, we don't do anything because the larger value that's being pushed onto the stock, it's not being populated. Uh, it does, doesn't affect the entries in mains. So when we pop out, uh, we, we don't modify mains as well. So, so just uh, we, yeah, with this modification, we could uh, potentially save some space. So. Um, So only only if that uh, we have a new minimum, um, we then do this push. And pop is the same. Uh, only if that uh, the the value being popped out uh, it's the current minimum. Otherwise, we don't pop this thing from the main stack. So I probably would uh, modify the order so that. Uh, we don't get this thing popped out before we do the comparison. So, so with this, we uh, the main stack and the vowel stack they are not going to be in the same lens. But logically, the top of the elements on the main stack is still the uh, the current minimum. Uh, so even though they are not in the same lens anymore as the most straightforward implementation, th this should still be uh, working. So let's try submit this version. Yeah, it's uh, it's also working as well. And uh, the very last uh, optimization on, for this is that. Uh, uh, we still have duplication. The, that's on the case where the the input x, the element x being pushed onto the main stack, it's equal to the main here. If it's equal to the main, we actually duplicate. Um, so uh, a potential way of uh, handling the uh, this duplication is to maybe compress the thing. So instead of uh, uh, making actual copies and push that onto x and the main stack. Uh, we uh, what we push what we maintain on the main stack it's gonna be a key a, a, a tuple with the value and the frequency um, so then this push will become potentially incrementing the count for the current minimum or or potentially adding a new entry and this pop will be decrement the frequency for the current minimum value or uh, just get rid of the uh, top element in that. So it's uh, both possible. Uh, to do so, uh, the, we modify this uh, main stack to be a tuple, a stack of tuples with uh, integer and integer, which is the, uh, the, the minimum element and it's a frequency count in the stack. And uh, let's uh, modify the logic here. So what we essentially what we're doing is to get rid of this equal sign, right? So if it's a new element, new minimum, uh, we push the element and its fre frequency count one to the uh, main stack. So if the if it's the case that uh, we have a uh, uh, the second occurrence, the if the new input, uh, if the new element is uh, equal to the current minimum, we basically increment the frequency count. So, which is the first location, uh, the uh, one's location in the uh, in the tuple. Uh, so that's our new push method. For the pop, um, we only modify the main stack whenever the new element is equal to the uh, 
yeah, so, so it's a, the logic here is going to be a little bit more complex. If we will decrement, basically we want to decrement the frequency count for the current minimum element. Uh, that's the decrementation here. Uh, but uh, if we, after de the decrement, it will become zero. We will essentially just pop it out. And the very lastly is this, uh, uh, the get min, it will work differently because now we are working with the uh, tuple. So uh, we should get the first element uh, from this uh, tuple. So yeah, so this uh, this will be the modified version of this. So it's a wrong lens encoding, uh, if you are wrong lens encoded version of the minimums in the in the second stack. Yeah, it's working as well. <laughs>